what's going on guys welcome back to another one today as you can see it's raining and it's kind of warm here for georgia in january but today i figured i'd show you how to tie a few catfish rigs so let's get started god i'm getting wet all right guys so the first rig we're going to do is a carolina rig it's very simple very easy literally anybody can do it so we're going to get our main line here and we're going to get an egg sinker here this is a one ounce egg sinker. We're gonna feed it through the egg sinker and then followed by a BB here or any kind of bead, I should say. And then you wanna take your main line and attach it to your swivel. Now I do a double uni knot. So you're gonna go through one side of the swivel and you're gonna come back around to the same side. So it forms a loop like that. And then after that is just a normal normal uni knot. So you loop it around and you feed the tag in through a few times. I usually do about five or six. And we're gonna pull this down tight. Just like that. And then for our hook end here, now I do a snail knot on all my hooks uh, when I'm catfishing. So essentially what that is, is you take your leader line. This is 40 pound mono leader line. So I feed it through the hook, through the eye of the hook. And then you take your, the rest of your leader line and you want to loop it through. Oh, slipped on me there. wrap around a few times. I do literally about seven to eight wraps. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven will do fine. And then you take your tag end and feed it back through the eye of the hook. And you essentially just pull it tight. And then that's how you do a snail knot right there or a knotless knot, whatever you want to call it. So then you take your leader line and then you do a uni knot on this side as well. You can do it either a double or uni, whatever you wanna do, whatever your preference is, but just for the demonstration of this video, I'm just gonna do a single with a few wraps. And then we're gonna cinch this down and then pull it down tight. And then there you go. Essentially right here, you have you a Carolina rig. Now essentially this rig is good for fresh water, salt water, however you wanna uh, you know, fish it. What I would not recommend is using uh, an egg sinker just on straight braid like this because of the abrasion. Over time, it can wear your line down and essentially you can break your line. Um, but there, there's a way to get around that. You could put yourself a sinker slide. So essentially just get rid of the, the one ounce uh, egg sinker, put you a sinker slide on here, and then your uh, sinker will attach to this. And essentially the sinker slide will slide down your line, protecting your line. Now the next catfish rig I'm gonna show y'all is the Santee Cooper rig. Now it's just like the Carolina rig, but you're gonna put a float on your leader line so it suspends the bait off the bottom. So to build this rig, you're gonna need a few items here. So first we got our main line here and then we got our sinker slide. Gonna feed it through the main line and then get your bead on there. And then go through your swivel. Again, just for the dem demonstration of this video, um, I'm gonna do a single uni instead of a double uni. And just gonna do a few wraps, just to keep it nice and simple. And we're just gonna trim off the tag in here a little bit. All right, now once you have your main line done, we're gonna go over here to your leader. So remember, snail knot, 40 pound mono, or whatever you prefer. Now, for your float, for your rig, you can use a traditional peg float. As you can see, this one's a little bit beat up, but essentially, you're just gonna pull your peg out. You're gonna feed your line through there. And then I leave it about 
three to four inches from the bottom of the float to my hook. That's one way to do it. Or if you're feeling a little fancy, what you can do here is get you this thing called the Ultra Chub. It's by Whisker Seeker. There's a lot of brands that make this thing, but if you're familiar with bass fishing, um, essentially this is just a spook without any treble hooks. Uh, it's got a little rattle in there. Um, so what I, how I rig this thing, so usually if you buy these from Whisker Seeker, they'll come with a little uh, short section of uh, cable, like a light pound cable. Um, but I usually cut those off. And how I rig it is, I take my leader line, go through the bottom here, and then go through the top. Kind of mark it out where you want it to be at. And then you get your piece of electrical tape and you just wrap it around there like that. And then you just take your leader line and attach it to your swivel. Just like that. And there you go. You essentially have you a Santee Cooper rig. Now this is the rig that I'm gonna fish mostly this year. Your weight will be at the bottom obviously. And then, cause this is a, a rattling float, it's gonna suspend. It's gonna lift your bait up off of the bottom. So that way, uh, you know, it, it kind of deters a little bit of the uh, turtles from stealing your bait, just like that. You know, and if you're fishing some uh, pretty good currents, you know it's going to rattle in there, you know, and uh, make your make your bait more desirable to uh, catfish and whatnot. Or both in, you know, depending on where you're at. Uh, another thing I would do is, um, depending on what size bait you use, you might want to change your float size. Um, now, they don't make them any bigger, to my knowledge, of these little rattling float like this, um, but you can get a peg float. Uh, and bigger size depending on what bait you're going to use so that way um, you know the float will actually suspend your bait up off the bottom oh and i forgot to mention one thing is that if you switch out this ultra chub or this rattling float for a peg or if you just want to use a peg for now but you want some rattle to it you can get these things uh, called a versal rattle these are from whisker seeker as well um, they're just a little um little ball sack <laughs> or just a little ball sack with some rattles in it so essentially you know you have your peg float right here and then your little rattles will go towards the end here and um, yeah you can do them any kind of way you want those for these I've seen guys they'll do um, they'll do a bead at the bottom versus rattle another bead another rattle um, Essentially, you could do those uh, rigs like really different. Uh, it just depends on like what you want to do. Um, but I just like to keep it simple. All right, the next rig I'm going to show y'all is the high low rig. Now this rig is very popular um, as far as like a lot of beginner catfishing people. Um, as well, you can really use them in the salt water too, as far as like surf fishing goes. But it's really simple. Um, either you can buy these pre-made, which if you don't want to fool around with making them, this one is uh, for salt water. It's a lightly braided cable, um, but they also make those in mono as well. Um, so it's really, really whatever you prefer. Um, but this is really easy. Like if you go buy them, like I said, they're pre-made and all you gotta do is attach it to your rod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just your main line and this is the top here. You can see, so here, this is where you're gonna attach your line to, and then these right here are where you're gonna put your hooks at. And then on the bottom here is where your weight is gonna go. So we're gonna take our main line here, go through the swivel, do a uni nut, all right? Just cut the tag in off there. There, there you have it. And then all you gotta do is uh, put your hooks on there. So you can go with uh, you can go with two four ounce here. So this is like a little uh, clasp or whatever you want to call it clip. Essentially, pop that out. Put your hook on there. Pop it back in place. 
I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. All right, so once you got your two hooks on there, you're gonna take one of these disc weights. This is a two ounce weight. It's kind of like a little wire ring at the top. And you'll just put that at the bottom of your high-low rig. And then bam, there you have it. Essentially, when you cast it out there, your weight will sit at the bottom. You wanna put some light tension when you reel it in. So it'll kind of look just something like that. To have your bait suspended in the air like that. Good thing about these high-low rigs is when, if you're using small baits, you can put them on your hooks and it'll give you twice the scent. Like I said, I've used these for fresh water. I use these for salt water too as well. Um, you know, I'm down in the surf catching some uh, whiting and uh, a stingray. So I'll post a picture of those here. Um, but yeah, this is a very good rig, especially if you want to target some small uh, channel catfish, if you know, want to take some home to fry which hopefully you do, because fried catfish is the best. But there you have it, high-low rig. All right, guys, so the final rig I'm gonna show y'all is a three-ray rig. Now, I'm not really sure if that's what it's called, um, but that's what I call it, because essentially you're having three lines on one swivel. So as far as the other components that you use uh, in like the Carolina rig or the Santee Cooper rig, the only thing that's gonna change is you need a three-way swivel. Uh, now, I bought these from Academy, I believe, but you can also get them there, Bass Pro, uh, Dick's maybe, Amazon, you know, wherever you prefer to shop. That's where you can get it. But to set this rig up, what we're going to do is you're going to get your three-way swivel and get your main line. I'm going to tie your uni knot on there. Uh, trim off the little tab here. All right, so you got your main line attached to your swivel. And now we're gonna come with the uh, hook side. So we got our four aught hook, our 40 pound mono. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of these Versa rattles, put it on there, and then your peg float. So our leader line is gonna go on this one here because our weight line is gonna go on the bottom one. So you wanna keep your main line and your weight line um, straight with each other. So we're gonna take this one here, I'm gonna do a uni nine on that one, right? So we got it like that. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our weight line. Now, I would prefer to go light on the weight line. I would say um, 20 pounds or less. Uh, you can use four carbon monofilament, whatever you wanna use. I would stay away from braid for your weight line. And the reason behind that is if your weight snags the bottom of wherever you're fishing, it'll be easier just to break that line uh, versus something heavy, like uh, like 40 pounds or whatever. So here I got uh, 40 or 20 pound monofilament. Um, so we're gonna pull off a little bit of this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a loop on the end of this our weight line. Once we got our loop on there, we got our disc sinker here. We're gonna take the loop, go through. Then we're gonna take the line and then go through the loop like that. So it essentially just kind of tightens down on itself like that. And then we'll take our weight line, attach it to our three-way swivel. And we're just gonna trim off some of these tag ends here. And then there you have it, your three-way rig. So essentially, when you cast it out there, your bait will sit on the bottom, your main line will go up to your rod, and then your bait line would just float around. Or if you're using live bait, it'll swim around like that. That's how you rig that up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one just as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to check out the rest of my videos on the channel, and I'll see y'all on the next one.